Welcome back to Super Duperville, episode 29, Heading South. I'm Mike of Dragon Rider Gaming. Thank you very much for joining me. Today we are going to have three goals. Number one, we're going to be buying squares. So we are going to buy the other two-fifths of the squares, all of the rest of the 25-point grid. Number two, we're going to be laying roads. We are going to put in the southern highway that's going to extend around the eastern part of the map down to the south towards super duper bay around then to the west going underneath the mountain range to the west and connecting up to the highway on that side and number three we are going to be selling plots so we're going to continue to expand some zones with a focus on stutopia i want to complete there are four pie pieces that are not completed and I would like to complete one or two of those pie pieces in this episode if possible. So we'll see how that goes. So this is where we left off last time. Uh, we just finished our academic year. Uh, I see something here I did not do that I wanted to do so I'm going to pop into university real quick. I just wanted to put in a road here that's extending off the, the uh, medical center that we put in down there go about here and see how long that is that's seven units that way look at that how about that for a curved corner there's something there just to connect that up as an extra walkway and i was going to get rid of these because these aren't necessary there we go just clean it up a little bit why not what the heck uh and i'm actually going to do one more here just on the end of the road here as an additional connection into this campus housing area. I don't know. What the heck? Looks good. Um, so anyway, enough messing around with that. Let's buy some squares. Let me zoom out here. Whoa, that was too far. And go, I don't even need to do that. We just go to this one. And I'm going to snag up all 10 of these squares. So we're starting out with, oh, geez, we only have 734,000. I better get this game going. Uh, we only have $734,000 and we bump the camera up to or game speed up to 100% so we make some money. So we'll see how much we have left after this. I'm going to say 735 is what we're starting with as I start to buy these. Should take about 300 or 350,000 I want to say for all 10 of these. They're all roughly 29 to 30,000 so it should be right around 300,000. Yeah, so, you know, down to 440 that's just about right. Just under $300,000 to purchase all those. So we have all 25 of our squares. Yay! Now for the difficult part, because this can be super expensive. I want to put in a hub here or an interchange here. I'd like to not have to mess with the Eastern Train Hub exit and entrance area. So I'm going to put it over here if possible. But the road itself is going to come out this side and it's going to hug this set of mountains because we're not doing anything up in here. So we're going to hug it around this side and keep this open for roundabout berg. Yes, that's what we're calling it. Run it down this side. It's going to go right underneath where this elevation land scar is. Right around there because Super Duper Bay is going to go in down here. We're going to come across here because here's uh, octo uh, um, Kaleidoscopia. And <laughs> you guys love my name, I hope. Uh, right across here, right across the water, straight towards the mountain. Then we're going to dip down underneath the mountain here, come through this valley area, and cut in between the mountain and this other little elevated uh, oil, I think that is. Uh, elevated land over here and come straight on out and connect into the highway on this side. So I'm going to do that, and I will be right back.
Okay, so we are finally done with that road. That took a while to do, but we preserved the eastern train hub over here. I think that that is just going to be good enough. I'm actually pop in here. I don't think I ever did lane mathematics over here, but let's... Do they have a couple nodes in between here? Yeah, they got plenty of nodes in between to switch lanes. I don't think there's enough traffic coming out of here that we need to really worry about it. Worry about them doing that. I still don't like them doing that. So we're just going to do that. We're going to force them to behave like normal people merging would behave. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so there's plenty of room there. They can come up here and get on the interchange and switch over. As you saw, I switched a couple of these lanes over, switched this from a single lane exit. As soon as it comes around the corner here, it splits into two lanes, comes down here and merges into three properly with just a single lane off coming in this direction, single lane off going that direction. Also merging, drop these down to two. And on the other end, we did the same thing. I had to change this roundabout. I had it as a trumpet interchange, but it ended up being a three-way interchange with no straight through. So I had to switch it out for this exchange. And on this one, I did the same thing, except I don't like going from two to one lane up here. So instead, I left this two lanes and just dropped in four lanes underneath here. And then we'd merge them properly underneath the highway here. And uh, at that point, uh, they merge into their own lanes. They've got a couple lengths to figure out what the heck they're doing. And then they can move on. There should not be a hell of a lot of traffic out this edge of the map area right now. Anyway, we'll see. We may have to exchange that later for a better option. Uh, I kind of don't like the, the quirkiness of this. I may go back and end up straightening that out and just bringing it towards this edge. It doesn't need to hug that edge because Roundabout Burg is down here. I think we still have plenty of room to, to, to build that in place. Uh, we may even come out further here and make this a more gradual corner to kind of match the shape of Roundabout Burg. I'll see how specific I want to get. But for now, this is going to work excellente. So the other thing I wanted to do is get into Stutopia here. If we take an overshot, we haven't looked at Stutopia in quite a while. But these four pie pieces, as I'm drawing the imaginary line around them, all are not complete. So I would like to get in here and complete these sections. So we're gonna start right on the outskirts and we're gonna drop in some industrial into these blocks out here. And then we'll move on the inside and fill in the rest. I'll be right back. Excellent. So that is going to help drive a lot of this stuff down, but it's going to help give us a nice little boost to our population, which we are getting close to our next level. I think it's 80,000. No, 85,000 is Megalopolis. And I, I said it right. I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, so we could have waited till Megalopolis to purchase those squares, but I was there and I was like, you know what? We're doing it. I don't care. We're going for it now. So with that, I think that's going to be it for this episode. And I will probably come in and start filling these in maybe off camera as well. If I'm doing something else and pop over and see that our population demand is up some, I will start populating this. I would like to get Stutopia complete. I would like that complete because Shippendales, if I do remember, is complete. I don't think there's any missing blocks here on Shippendales. No, Shippendales is complete. I would like to get Stutopia complete. That way we have our first two big expansions done. And then we just have Positiveville and Spaghetti Hills to finish up. So that's going to do it for this episode as we take a nice wide angle view across the cities as they are right now. And our beautiful new highway that we just put in. So next episode, we are going to start on Super Duper Bay. We're going to start laying in a little bit of the Bay Area, the, the structure and roads and stuff like that, because there's a lot to figure out 
with a parallelogram and trapezoidal area. So that'll be really interesting to see. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please drop me a like, dislike, comments, all that kind of good stuff. Love to see it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves out there. And until then, this is Mike signing off. Bye-bye, everybody.